Previously on Hadrian Thrifts. I don't know. It manifested a new Dyson for me at the thrift. How cute is this? I found this black leaf skin bag. This Michael Kors pottery barn. I kind of want this shrub rake. How cute is this little plant? You guys, I just saw a TikTok about this Michael Kors shoulder bag. Henry Bendel bag. Lorelei Gilmore handbag. Found it. Just a $2,000 bag. Hermes Evelyn bag. I forgot that I got this. I also got the ladies and salutations you guys are here welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. We just got into the store right now. We're at the Goodwill in Huntington Beach. And I'm really excited to take you guys in here. But if you guys have different details, vlogs, home decor, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe with the little bell button to be notified when new videos do go up. I'd be on Instagram. It's Hadrian and just like it's spelled here and check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com. To see whatever stuff on my thrifting adventures, but look at this. We just found a Rebecca Minkoff bag, seven dollars. It's pretty cute, needs a little restitching on the corners, but I mean, I think this can be done. Let's see what else we have here. Any other cool bags? What is this? I think this is pleather. Maybe this is like a little Louis Vuitton thing. Of course, that's like the first thing I noticed. What's in here? Is this really Louis Vuitton? Like, what is this? Is this just a strap? I think it's literally just like a little strap. It's just like a little Louis Vuitton strap. I don't even know if it's real or not. Is it fake leather? I think it's plastic. But what's this, like, case thing about? What? Oh, there's a case thing. Um, this is a Franklin Colby's. But uh, I'm pretty sure that little strap is like fake anyway, so it's okay. Let's see what else we can find. So far we just have this little Rebecca Minkoff bag. Cheese, H-I. Uh, what is this? Trying to go through the wallets right here now. Wallets. I think it's like a juicy tour Michi. I don't know what that is. Doghouse. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just found this like. There, but it's a Prada backpack. Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. I just wanted to hop on really quick and let you guys know that Depop is actually offering free shipping on orders $50 or more if you're within the United States from March 11th through the 13th. So I wanted to also offer you guys 20% off everything in the shop. Most items will already be discounted, but if you see something that hasn't been discounted, make sure to send me a DM on Depop and I'll discount the item for you. And again, it's going to be free shipping on orders $50 or more and that is going to end on March 11th, or on March 13th. So go check it out. It's Hadrian.com. Link is down below in the description box. And back to the video. Like I was looking through it, I think this is authentic, you guys. It has like all of like the little notches in the R's. And I think like the reason it's here is because it's starting to like, the stuff is starting to come out. Do you see like the, um, starting to fray? But I think I can do something to try and fix it. But it's like a mini, it was like a little mini backpacks. It is super duper cute. Prada, yes. Let's see how much it is. Twelve ninety nine, you guys. <gasps> I'm trying not to scream too loudly because I don't want people to stare at me. Look at this. Little Prada on the hardware still, yes. You guys, I'm pretty sure this is actually authentic. Let's see if there's anything inside. Is there a number thing in here? Oh, there it is. Yes! I'm pretty sure this is authentic, you guys. This is craziness. 
Oh my god, I'm so excited. We just found a prototype. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get my cart inside of here. But I'm really interested in seeing what's here. Because last time I was here, like this this door is like a gold mine. Because last time I was here, I found some amazing bags as well. And I don't think the videos are up yet. So I don't want to tell you guys what it is just in case this video goes up first. But um, let's see. I'm going to comb through here and see if I can find anything. And then I'll show you guys. Because it's just like too much of a hot mess right now to try and film. And walk at the same time do you guys remember when jimmy choo did these bags like this looks like a jimmy choo bag well, i don't see any markings or anything on it but like it's still really cute like should i just get it anyway oh this is just something that rubbed onto it i don't think the color yeah something just got stuck to this i don't know we're gonna inspect this in a bit I'm just gonna throw this in the cart over here I found a Kipling right here. This little furry bag by Liu Libertin. I don't know, Liu Libertin or something. This little jelly bag. I think it's just a jelly bag with a little label inside. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like literally dying trying to go through all these things. It's like so much fun, but like also, hey, is this an American Girl doll? Oh my gosh, it is an American Girl doll. Someone gave her a haircut. She has a bob and she's wearing, what are they called? Elf on a Shelf pajamas. Okay, well, she's gonna go in the cart for now while we think about this. I wonder if there's any cool like backpacks or anything in here. All right, you guys, I found, like, the exact bag in brown, and it's supposed to say, like, Jimmy Choo all over. It's supposed to be a label on the side, so, um, probably not authentic Jimmy Choo, but it's still pretty cute. So, I don't know if I should get it, because it, it's, like, a gorgeous bag regardless, and I think the leather is really nice, so maybe I will just get it. It's not labeled or anything. Found some Pottery Barn paper whites. $3.99. Kind of a hot mess, though. Also, I kind of like these like fake flowers, but they're really old and dusty, but they're kind of fun. I'll probably know. No one's going to be mad if I take home those dusty flowers. What's this? Okay, so, can we talk about these flower bowls really quick from Pier 1? They are stinking cute. There's four of them. <laughs> they are adorbs. This is actually really cute, too. Um, but, like, flower bowls, set of four, I think I'm going to have these in my life. But I don't see any price on any of them. <sighs> yeah, that's really pretty world gas cubbies. I looked it up, they go for, like, $25, like, resale. I was, like, trying to look through all of, like, the crystal, but I don't think I see anything really too exciting. But, what is exciting is I did find this Pampered Chef cookie sheet. It's only $5.99. And I found this amazing pillow, Target pillow. And I wanted this one since it came out and now I found the manifested one at the Goodwill, so I'm very excited. Going through the plates and stuff now. Or plates, glassware, plates, all that stuff. Hey, I just found an anthro letter C mug and it's in, in gold. I don't think I have a C. This is my first one. Oh my gosh, hot diggity dog. You guys, there's another cut. Ooh, letter T. This one's one idea though. Hmm. I think I already have this letter, but I think I might get it still. We'll see. That like a piece. Thing. It's like really cool. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm really, really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the thrift because we got some really amazing stuff and I can't wait to show you guys. So, oh, but also do not forget to subscribe because I am posting new videos every single day this week from what I thrifted this weekend. So I got some really cool stuff and like one of them is like, like, you know we found the product in this video. Like, that's amazing. And another video, we found, like, 
even more exciting things. And in another video, we like found even like, it's just like an abundance of like amazing things today. I cannot, like I'm so excited to share with you guys. So first things first, um, I ended up getting Eliza. Eliza's gonna be super excited for these because he loves Super Mario. But I got him <laughs> this little Super Mario underwear. Like it's so cute, it was $5. Uh, so I had to pick it up, it's like brand new. So I think they're from Target. So I got these for him. He's gonna be so happy for his little Mario underwear. And then I also ended up getting, oh, why is this sticky? I didn't even notice this was sticky when I bought it, but I got these two cups, Anthropology, the letter C in the gold, and then the letter T in the black. Very excited for these. You guys know if you guys have been watching these videos or my videos recently or in the past, I do collect the Anthropology letter mugs. It is my goal to be able to thrift all the letters one day. And um, I've already reached my goal of being able to spell It's Hadrian, which is life-changing for me. But I wanna be able to spell like a bunch of different words. So like, I'm trying to collect different letters and do all that stuff because, you know, that would be super duper cool. Like, what if I was able to spell the word thrifting? Which I think I actually might, except I don't think I have an F. I don't know, we're just gonna have to reevaluate my letters that I have right now. <laughs> but um, this one was, this one was 99 cents, and then this one was $1.99, which is a little weird because they usually price the ones that have the gold writing a little bit more expensive than the, I don't know. Then I also did end up getting this pillow because I actually have the regular square pillow in this. This is the Studio McGee pillow, and it's so stinking soft. And these you can actually throw in the washing machine. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna go wash this up, and then it's gonna go on my sofa. So I'm very, very happy about it. And I love the color of this as well. And again, it's just so stinking soft, and it just, it's amazing. I love these pillows from Studio McGee. They just feel so, so good, and I love them. So that was beautiful, very happy about that. Oh, and also it didn't have like a tag or anything. And I was like, ooh, like how much is this? And they were like $1.99 and I was like, yes, yes, please, yes. Then I did end up also picking up this Rebecca Minkoff tote. Some of the stitching is kind of coming out on the side, but I mean, it's pretty easy to sew it back up. So I'm probably just gonna find some maroon thread and just patch it up because it's not like torn or anything. It's just like some of the stitching has come and done. It's a cute tote though. It's like half cat or half like a nylon. And then the other half is leather with leather handles. And it looks kind of like the Celine, that Celine tote that looks like this. The Cabas tote, I think is what the name is. C-A-B-A-S. Celine Cabas tote looks just like this Rebecca Minkoff. This one was $6.99. So it's down there. And then, you know, I, I wasn't going to get it, but then like I ended up getting this bag anyway because it's super cute. Um, it looks very similar. There's like I knew this bag because I know Jimmy Choo made a bag very similar It doesn't say like Jimmy Choo or anything on it. So it's kind of just a bag that looks like it <laughs> But I got I got it because the color is so gorgeous It's like literally like a Tiffany's blue, which I think is super duper pretty the hardware is like cool and heavy and Amazing. I thought like at first that the leather was peeling, but it's actually another bag that peeled onto it and it just got stuck. So I just have to clean it off. And then the interior is like super clean. There's two zipper pockets and then two open pockets. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in there, but it's a great bag. It's really pretty. And it's like a hobo, which I think is very fun. And it just sits like beautifully like that. And I don't know, there's something about this hardware too that I really like for some reason. It's like bracelets for your bag, which I think is fantastic. And this ended up being, I was like looking right at it. This was $8.99. So got that. Now for the item that you guys were all waiting for. Of course, I had to save the best for last because this was the most exciting thing that I found from this little store. And it is this little mini Prada backpack. It is so stinking cute, you guys. Like, it is such a cute little bag. I'm pretty positive that it is authentic. The only thing is, it started to fray, and yeah, like, you can see it, like, right here. It's, like, evident, like, all over. Like, it's also, like, down here on the zipper pocket, like, the, the zipper pockets, like, the flap pockets. And I'm thinking about, I don't think I'll be able to like tuck it in or like undo it and then tuck it in and then re-sew it. Like I don't know if that will work at all. It might be like pretty hard to do that. I was also thinking of like just stitching it, like doing like, I don't know what that stitch is called, but like stitching it until like just like holding it all in just with black string. It won't be like as clean as like opening it and opening
opening it up and then like restitching it but then i don't know if that will actually work because it's frayed so i think like the idea of like sewing it like how i envision is gonna be like the best way to do it but i mean like i can try it and if it doesn't look good i can always just take it out because it is like fabric but yeah like i'm pretty sure it's authentic there's like the prada logo right there it has prada on all the hardware it has it on all the d like the d rings all the grommets have say prada all of these little things say prada on them the interior prada and then there is also the number on the inside i don't know fantastic i really am excited about this bag again $12.99. <sighs> I'm so excited. This bag is beautiful. I wish it was bigger. Like, it's kind of small. Like, I feel like it's, like, way too small. Like, I can barely, like, put it on my back. Like, it's definitely meant for a more petite person. Like, oh my gosh, how cute would it be if Eliza carried this backpack? <gasps> Eliza's gonna have a photo shoot. Oh my gosh, how cute. What if I let Eliza use this backpack? He doesn't go to school. He's, like, goes to online school. But, I mean, like, he can put, like, his, like, well, actually, his... Stuff won't really fit in here. You can put this pencil case in there. It'll be super cute. That is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today and checking out the store. I love that store so, so much. Like I said, when we were inside there, I found some amazing stuff there as well. And I don't know when that video is going to go up. So I'm hoping that maybe that video will go up before this. But if not, like I'm going to link it so you guys can check it out. Otherwise, keep a lookout for it because it's amazing. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much. Tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye.